Hello everyone, my name is Swingpoint, and welcome to Pokemon Unite. Chansey, or Blissey, is now in the game, and we did a bunch of studying. We got stats, we got skills, and we got some tricks about Blissey that you probably wouldn't know unless you watched a video. So let's go ahead and get on into it here and teach you so many of the cool things that Blissey has going on. To start off, one of the cool things about Blissey is that they level up their skills very quickly, very similar to Wigglytuff. So if you see here, if I go and level up Chansey here, we're actually going to get Heal Pulse at level 2. A lot of other Pokemon don't get their skill until level 3. So we get our first two skills, level 1 level 2. Also, on that note, Blissey will evolve at level 4, or Chansey will evolve into Blissey at level 4. Now let's go ahead and get some baseline on the skills here at level 15, because that's what I like to measure them off of. And the first one we're going to take a look at here is Pound, and Pound does about... Blah, about 1200 damage which is pretty okay in the land of level 15 tier 1 skills and another cool thing about it is it's an area of effect skill and also if it hits anything it's gonna slow it down now heal pulse just gives you a little bit of a heal here to you and your ally this, this is pretty minor it's not that big a deal and then you can replace it with one of two skills we're gonna start with soft boiled and then pound can either turn into helping hand or egg bomb but let me show you a pound here going ahead and slowing down the apoms here and then let's go on with Helping Hand, and those will be the skills we start with. And then her Unite move kicks in at level 8, which again is one of those things where she gets her skills faster than other Pokemon do, and she also upgrades her skills faster than other Pokemon do, which is really, really helpful considering how much she can buff other characters. Something to keep in mind with her Unite move, though, is that similarly to Wigglytuff, if it gets interrupted, it'll re-recover back to 90%. I don't know why Wigglytuff does that. I don't know why Blissey does that, but that's one of the things that they do. So if you get interrupted while trying to cast your Unite move, don't worry. It's going to rebound to 90% rather than zero. All right, now let's get started with some of her skills here. Actually, you know what? Before we get started with her skills here, you got to see this jaw-dropping number that Blissey flaunts at level 15. Take a look at this. She has 10,000 HP. 10,000. Now, her defense isn't that great. 200 defense and 149 special defense is pretty low. Honestly, it's almost Pikachu levels low. So Snorlax has about 9,900 HP, which is only 100 less than Blissey, but his defense is like in the 400s and 500s. So Snorlax is still gonna be way more tanky than Blissey, but Blissey's got some cool tricks up her sleeve to make it so that she can sustain herself with her skills. Now let's go ahead and take a look at Helping Hand here. Helping Hand is an awesome skill and I love it because it does more than you think it does. So Helping Hand does a few things. One, you run faster. And you can tell that Helping Hand is active because it has a little aura around you. Not only does it help you run faster, but it helps everybody who is in the aura of it run faster who is on your team. Not only do they run faster, they attack faster. Now something really unique about Blissey's attacks, and we'll get into it, is how her boosted attacks work. Her boosted attacks are on a timer. They're not on a amount of hits interval and it's on a six second interval so now i did a big slap there and about six seconds after that it's going to re replenish itself and you'll see the little icon pop on in see now you can see the enemy blissey's icon too so you'll know if she's got a big slap lined up so every six seconds that's happening now what you want to do if you can is hit it right now and then you don't have to wait six seconds for it to come back it's on a fixed interval it's going to happen whether you just slapped or if you slapped six seconds ago so you can time those up to be like 1-2, which is kind of cool. But something that Helping Hand does is it makes it so all of your attacks are boosted attacks, which is crazy. Now, something to keep in mind here with Blissey is that her boosted attacks are very, very, very strong. Like, very strong. So let's go ahead and slap with a boosted attack here, and it does, boom, 956 damage. Now, to put that... To put that into scale here, her regular attacks do 341. So that's a 180% increase in her damage when she does a boosted attack. So with Helping Hand, every single attack that she does is a boosted attack. She can fit four of those in with one Helping Hand. Take a look. Wha-bam! 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 <laughs> it's crazy! Now, you were seeing 956 before on her boosted attack, and then you saw... 1099 the reason why you saw the 1099 is because helping hand plus increases the attack damage that blissey dishes out but not only does blissey get this 15 percent damage boost so do her teammates i don't think her teammates are just constantly pushing out boosted attacks but 
they are getting that damage increase. So on something like a Cinderace, or on something like a Lucario, or maybe probably a Charizard, anything that's really doing a lot of physical attack damage, they're getting a huge damage boost anytime Blissey uses this skill. Like, imagine this on Garchomp, or uh, yeah, imagine this on Charizard, because Charizard, his big thing is that he's always attacking. He just needs to keep up with you. And since Helping Hand helps you keep up with them and to boost your attack, Blissey does a lot for the team, and it's incredible. Again, not only can Blissey do a lot of damage for herself, like, what is that? That's like close to, I don't know, 4,400 damage. That's nothing to scoff at in Substitute Doll Land. But the fact that she's also doing it for her teammates is crazy. Let's move on to our next skill here, which is Soft Boiled. And actually, let me take some damage so you can see what Soft Boiled does. So what Soft Boiled does is you can cast out a cone in front of you, and whoever's in that cone, the first target hit is gonna be the one that gets healed, but also Blissey heals. And the way it works is you're gonna heal for 1450, and then you get two more ticks. Now, this is at level 15. These numbers will change based off of your level. So, 1450 and then two extra ticks. Those two extra ticks are 40% of what the initial heal was. All right? So, in this case, 1450 produces two more ticks of 580 and then 580. So, when you consider that Blissey has about 10,000 health and then we're healing here for 2,600, she heals about 26% of her health. <laughs> well, it's just one of these eggs, which is a lot, frankly. Now... Not only does she heal herself for that, she's also going to heal whoever her target was. But something really cool to keep in mind with Soft Boiled, which is really awesome because it synergizes with other things about Blissey, is that Soft Boiled's healing scales with her special attack. So, special attack items like the Wise Glasses or the special attack specs are going to make it so she heals even more. Which, the reason why it synergizes well is that her boosted attack here also gets a benefit from her special attack. And so does her egg that she can toss, but I prefer helping hand. But her skills that she attacks with, and then also soft boiled, all scale with special attack, which is cool. You can only cast soft boiled once every two seconds. So you see that there's a little cooldown there? And it says the cooldown in the description's two seconds, but something else to keep in mind is after you're actually out of eggs, the time it takes to go from zero egg to one egg is about nine seconds. So two seconds to recast, but it's nine seconds to produce a whole egg. And she can hold on to these eggs. She can have up to three eggs with regular soft boiled. And then soft boiled plus allows her to hold an additional egg. So she can hold up to four casts of soft boiled. So let's talk about egg bomb and safeguard. So egg bomb is very similar to seed bomb from Bulbasaur. And what it does is it releases an egg that causes damage in an area. Boop. And it does about 1446 damage, which is pretty low honestly, for level 15. One other thing it does is it causes a stun, so take a look at the stars. And it also causes them to be repositioned, which is really interesting. Might be really useful against a Pokemon that's trying to be precise, if you can kind of knock them off their path a little bit with this Egg Bomb here. One other thing with Egg Bomb is that when it reaches Egg Bomb Plus at a level 10, it also causes a slow. So if you see here, these guys will start running and they'll be slow. Boop. Yeah, see how they're slowed down a little bit? You can actually see... Behind them, there's a little blue aura. And it's actually probably a little bit easier to see over here. See the little blue trail behind the corefish here? That means that he's moving slower than he usually would. And on that note, let's talk about Safeguard. So what Safeguard does is it removes statuses and hindrances on uh, ally Pokemon as well as yourself. So a really easy way to showcase that here is to try to go into the enemy lane and you see how slow we get. Oh, no. Oh, actually, <laughs> what you see there for a brief second is Blissey's passive kicking in. You see that? That's... That's her passive making it so she's no longer hindered. It's kind of funny. And that comes in at six second intervals. But anyway, the point of safeguard here is that safeguard also does that. It makes it so you can walk around and you become unstoppable. Another thing that safeguard plus does is it gives you a shield. So at level 12, you get safeguard plus and then you get this extra little shield and so does whoever you casted it on. And the shield lasts for about three seconds. It's not very impressive. It's pretty short. You could use, if you're really good at timing it, maybe it'd be cool, but three seconds, I feel. Uh, it's okay. I wish it was a little bit longer. So now let's talk about Blissey's Unite move. And Blissey's Unite move is actually really hard to test because you need an ally. <laughs> you cannot test this in practice mode because you cannot produce an ally. And if you were to go ahead and do a CPU match, you can't actually see what numbers are happening, which is important because she messes with the numbers when she casts this on an ally. So I actually had to go talk to my friend Yusefka, and she helped me test out numbers here on Blissey. So I'm going to put Yusefka's link in the description. Go ahead and check her out. She streams this game. She streams all sorts of games. And she's a really good Crustle main who is in Masters. So go check her out if you want to learn a thing or two about Crustle. But now on the topic of the Unite move here, 
What this Unite move does is it causes Blissey to rush forward, like blah, 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 blah. And then it hits your teammate and then gives them a shield and puts a bunch of eggs around them. And then not only do they get a shield, they also get their basic attack and their special attack boosted. And while Blissey is rushing forward, any enemies that are in the way are going to get knocked up in the air and take a bunch of damage. So this is a really awesome Unite move. Another cool thing about the Unite move is if it does get interrupted for some reason, like let's say your teammate dies as you're running towards them, it will recharge up to 90% right away. Don't know why it does that, but it does kind of similar to what Wigglytuff does when she's trying to cast her shield with her Unite move. Now, what it does in terms of stats... What it does in terms of basic attacks, or physical attacks, I should say, is it boosts the physical attack damage by 20%. Now, for special attacks, <laughs> I got some mixed results. So I'm going to tell you what those mixed results were, and then you can interpolate them however you feel fit. I got a range of 6.2% to 7.5%. And now we tested these at different levels. So what I'm wondering is if the amount at which you get a boosted attack from Blissey's Unite move changes with her level, but regardless, what we found was it was about 7% of a special attack increase. Okay? So about 20% on the physical attacks and about 7% on the special attacks. And then you'll see when the effect is no longer lasting because the eggs around your teammate will disappear. So now let's talk about Blissey's passive. And I feel like the best way to show off Blissey's passive is to use Ninetales. Because what Blissey's passive does is it removes all status conditions on Blissey. It's on an alternating timer. It goes on cooldown. But that timer is the same as her boosted attacks. So every six seconds, she can use this. And you'll see a little twinkle around Blissey. That means that she just cleared status on herself and that she had a new charge of her boosted attack arrive. So if you go over here, you'll see how I can kind of put some ice on her. And it clears as soon as she uses her little twinkle there. See how it all cleared out? Now let me see if I can just kind of prop it here again so you can see it better. Okay, well now we have ice on her again. And we have about three stacks on her. And then you'll see when the twinkle shows up, it clears. So it happens about every six seconds. So this allows her to, you know, counter Ninetales a little bit better than some of the other characters. But from my testing, I was like, oh, this is probably going to be really good against Gengar. And it, it, it wasn't. So I'm not really entirely sure how all this stuff works the way it's supposed to. Um, I thought it was going to be a really good counter to Gengar. It's not. But it is a really good counter to Ninetales. So from what I can tell so far, it's probably good against things like Burn, good against things like Frozen, and good against things that hinder your speed. Now, with Mamoswine coming in, I bet you this is going to be good against Mamoswine because I would not I would be shocked if Mamoswine doesn't have some sort of freezing technique. But from what we can tell now, it's really good against Ninetales, and we'll see what else it's good against. So I'm actually just kind of curious about this one. Let's see here. <laughs> yep, that's still happening. Okay, so there's currently a bug in the game where <laughs> if you grab Blissey... <laughs> As Charizard with the Seismic Slam, she gets kind of stuck in the ground and she can't move here. Let me see if she can attack me. <laughs> yep, she just stays stuck like that. <laughs> so if you want some laughs, go ahead and play Charizard right now. And, and I wonder if I can I flip her back? Oh, I flip her back! <laughs> Let me try this again. Oh, okay, so maybe it's just a weird thing that happens every once in a while. Either way, sometimes you can jam her into the ground. <laughs> so now let's talk about items for Blissey here. And we got some things to talk about with Blissey's items. So with this patch, a bunch of things changed. One of the things that changed was the battle items. So if we go ahead and take a look at the battle items here. Eject button had its cooldown increased to 70 seconds. And then Goal Getter had it decreased to 90 seconds. So we're going to talk about how we can synergize these things with her held items. Now, if we go to our held items here, one thing I always believe in is taking what they're good at and making it better. So something you can do is you can run Buddy Barrier because she provides a shield to her team, and then this would make it so the shield is even larger. Not to mention Buddy Barrier is good on pretty much anyone. <laughs> Another thing to consider is the Score Shield. So Score Shield takes a percentage of your HP, and you can't be interrupted while that shield is active. Now, some cool things to know about Score Shield. One... It is any shield. So if you have a shield from a buddy barrier and then you're using score shield, that shield from buddy barrier will count towards score shield's shield. So this is extremely good on Wigglytuff because she can shield herself with her ult. But other things to know about it is that if you are trying to score on a goal and then somebody uses a jump pad and jumps on top of you, you're not going to be interrupted. So since Blissey has so much HP, she can benefit a lot from the score shield. 
And then for the last item here, I would consider Focus Band because, again, she has a ton of HP. Not to mention, she's really good at sustain. So if we can go ahead and take what she's good at and make it even better, then Focus Band's awesome. Now, if you're not really feeling the Score Shield life, I would consider using a special attack item because it boosts what she's already good at. Like I said earlier, Wise Glasses will make her Soft Boiled do more healing. It'll make her Slaps with her boosted attacks do more damage. Wise Glasses is a really good choice for pretty much anything that boosts special attack on Blissey. We stream just about every single night on twitch.tv slash swingpoint and we do a lot of viewer games so I'd love to see you guys over there. Links in the description for that. I have tons of guides on the channel for a bunch of different Pokemon and a bunch of different parts of this game so if this has been helpful to you at all please consider subscribing so you can see more of that stuff. I hope this was helpful. I hope you learned a thing or two about Blissey and with that thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video that we do around here.